I'm back with another video. Back to back to back. Come on, we we doing it. We doing it. We about this. We we on our YouTube. We on our YouTube hustle. We on our YouTube grind. I got my fruit punch. Back with another video. If you thought the other videos had gems in, this video has gems. This video got gems. We are going to entitle this video the importance of understanding how powerful your influence is. Yeah, this video is going to get deep. I have my bullet points and my notes. I you know two pages for this for this video. Basically, just sharing when I first came into the game. When I first came into the game as a rapper, officially dropping my debut. I wanted to appeal to an audience, but uh, you know I I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I I was talking about anything, you know. I don't talk about guns. I don't talk about guns in my my lyrics because I I don't. I barely have, I don't own a firearm, I don't, I, you know, I went to the shooting range once, but I don't, I don't, I don't shoot guns, man. I was 17 and really didn't understand how powerful my influence was. Up until the moment where I made a song talking about me being lost. I was aware that I was lost. I was aware that I needed guidance, right? There was a song called Garlic Breath where I was saying, you're so fucking lost, press like talking to myself in the track, like you're so fucking lost. And it was interesting. And even more interesting that people gravitated to it. Like that was a song where people was like loving the most. People loved that song. I didn't like how easy it was to talk about, you know, something that's more negative, having the ears of the people so fast. I was aware of my influence at the time, but I wasn't, taking the responsibility of being a positive influence 24 seven. But that was about to change. I made it a, a life spiritual commitment that I do my best to stay positive with my influence and be real. Shortly, I started coming up with the I started coming up with the concept for Sunny Path. This concept was centered around positivity. And even though I'm in a place where I'm lost, even though I'm, I'm in this feeling of self-doubt, I know that my path, the path that I was walking on was, was spiritual. Just knowing that where, you know, where, I'm, where I'm heading is more concentrated in light. Everybody's powerful. Everybody's powerful. You don't even need to be a, a, a rapper or a famous person or an artist to, to have influence. You are powerful. Whatever you guys are doing to make a living or whatever hobbies you have, I already know that you guys are powerful. It doesn't, there's not one thing that's powerful and then one thing that's not. No, everybody is powerful. It, you, don't need to, you don't need to be famous to make an impact. I think somebody commented on my YouTube Ch channel and said, hey, Ade, thank you for making this video. I know I'm going to be somebody one day. And another person replied to that comment got and said and replied to it before I could get to it and already told him like, yo, you're already somebody, bro. And I had to just like back him up and say, yeah, you're already somebody. You know, you're already powerful. You're already powerful. You don't need to be known to be somebody. You are already somebody. You know yourself. You was given life. You're somebody. You're more than somebody. That's really important to just know that everybody has influence. And knowing that life is all about decision making. You can either choose to be upset about certain circumstances or choose to make the best out of it. That's what life is all the time. And the way you decide to react to these circumstances and the way you decide to take action has an effect on your future. The way do you re re decide to react about whatever circumstance, so your decisions have impact on your own life. Since we're not the only ones in this world, it's, it's, it's kind of like inevitable to, for that impact to rub off on others. We share this world, so it's up to you to decide whether your impact will be good or bad. That's how you have influence as a, just a human, regular human being. You have influence. 
You know, you can go outside and just, you know, smile at everybody, say hello. As you, everyone that walks past you, you could smile and say hello, little things. That's a good, if that's being a good influence, you know, that's, that's influencing people to interact with each other. That's influencing people to, to know that we're safe as a community. It's, it's, it's as little as that. And it goes a long way too. This bullet point I have. It's very good to be aware of us humans having influence. We're connected with each other. We're connected with each other. You know what I mean? We have, we influence others all the time. <laughs> you know, sometimes someone I respect so much, you know, someone I respect so much has the most influence on me because, you know, I connect with them. I have a conversation with my brother and we would, inf we would influence each other constantly. He would say, oh, I like this. And I would be like, I don't like that. And he would be like, yeah, yeah, I don't like that either. Or he would be like, I would be like, I don't like that. And he'd be like, oh, I like this. I'd be like, yeah, I like it too. It's the influence. We can, we have, when you have a connection with somebody, you are influencing that person. You are influencing that person. So it's good to be aware of this. It's good to be aware of your power. You know? If you're not aware of it, if you're not aware of it, you can do a lot of damage. Especially if you are someone with a big platform. If you're not aware of your influence, you could poison the minds of people who look up to you, you know? Like, let's say like, you know, let's say that people follow me, you know, I get big and then I change my whole mentality and tell everybody to, you know, uh, drink alcohol, you know, eat fast food, uh, watch out for the haters, and not trust anybody. Basically, you know, <laughs> influencing a whole community to, you know, be negative. You're, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're doing the people that, that, uh, that love you and respect you a disservice. So it's very important to acknowledge your influence. If you don't acknowledge it, it can result to the lack of accountability, which is extremely dangerous. Someone could be like, Ade, yo, like, you said this, that, and third, and, and now everybody's doing this. He's, I didn't tell those people to do it. I didn't tell those people to do it. They made their own decisions, blah, blah, blah. In this example, I don't recognize the fact that I'm powerful. I don't recognize the fact that I, I have influence in this example. And I led people into a trap, the people that look up to me into a trap because they love me and respect me and want to do everything in my shoes. And I led them into that trap because I didn't take accountability. I, you know, there's people out here that do that. You know, they don't take accountability. So I'm saying realize how powerful you are. Realize you guys are powerful. Rapper or not, platform or not, you're powerful. It's important to stay committed to being a positive influence. So once you make that transition, it's important to stay committed with all the shit going around in the world. Stay committed to being a positive influence because no matter what, they're trying to influence you to be negative, but stay positive because the world needs you right now. They need you. So surround yourself with people who are also positive because influence goes both ways. If you surround yourself with more negative people than positive, you're going to, it's going to rub off on you you might become that negative influence. You know the saying? There's a saying, you have to be the change you want to see. You got to be the change that you want to see, right? You can only be the change you want to see by the influence that you carry. You being that change will influence others to be that change that you want to see. If you want to see the world a better place, then you got to be that. You got to embody that. You got to embrace that and be it and everything it's all about your decisions you guys have the power nobody else nobody else if you're an artist who's committed to being a positive influence you have no problem acknowledging your supporters <laughs> you have no problem acknowledging the people that support you if you're already committed to being that positive influence and the supporters are making themselves known you're going to reach out to them even more because you know you need to spill over that influence onto them that's positive. So you will have no problem acknowledging these, these supporters. In the last video I was talking about how, you know, it's very important to acknowledge your supporters in order to create a strong fan base. 
And I'm saying if you are committed to being a positive influence, you have no problem acknowledging these people. The people with negative influence, you know, they don't want to acknowledge these people because they don't want to see themselves. They don't want to see themselves. They're afraid. They're afraid that the people that support them, some fan bases could be really intense and, you know, <laughs> and start, you know, really repeating everything you say. You know, cult followers could really repeat anything you say. So uh, people that with with uh, that don't want to acknowledge their influence uh, don't want to connect to their their followers because they don't want to see they don't want to see themselves in them you know they don't want to see that connection especially if what they're saying is negative they don't want to be reminded that they have to change on stage or off stage on set or off set in the gallery or outside of the gallery. We devote our energy to being positive because it's more than a facade. It's more than, you know, being positive is more than what we paint on the canvas. It's more than what we record on the track. It's more than what we, you know, how we carry ourselves on scene, on the stage. This is the life that we live. This is the life that we chose to live. It's a decision. It's literally a decision to choose to, to be positive. It's a decision. We know as artists that there's responsibility in having a voice. There's responsibility. And if you're not willing to take the responsibility of being an artist, then don't do this. <laughs> don't do it. Because you'll end up hurting yourself more than you will heal yourself. If you're a positive influence around others, you'll actually heal yourself. So it's very important to understand how powerful your influence is. Very important super duper important and yeah man you know when i first started making music i knew i had a message to share you know however i was young and didn't realize how powerful i was and i was just growing in, into my body i had to realize every single step of the way that me writing my lyrics me writing my song was either blessing me in my future or cursing me if I was being too cynical and negative, I was cursing my future. There's, there's, you know, I was literally writing my future. That's how powerful, that's how powerful your words are. I would almost, I would live it. I would live it. Whether it was right away or just like months or a year from now, I would live it. So, and I would see it too. I'm like, damn, this is exactly what I wrote about. Or if it was positive, I'll be like, damn, this is exactly, exactly what I wrote about. <laughs> so. I had to really train myself and really make sure that I, and really protect myself and make sure that I was in a positive, positive environment. If I wasn't in a positive environment, I was going to be writing like, this nigga did this, this nigga did this, <laughs> and I'm only hurting myself through that. I had to protect myself and surround myself with positive people with positive intentions. This way I can know I can I can have a space to and and my own peace to write about a healing future for, for me and my people. This is why I changed my name from Six Press to Ade Hakim. Because Ade Hakim was fully going to embody being the positive influence. Six Press was a positive influence for sure, but there was a lot of trial and error and mistakes. And there was a lot of mistakes that Ade Hakim would never make. So that's why I changed my name. It was a it was a new evolution of me. So onto better things was me shaking off every you know bit of negativity off of me or every bitterness, you know, brushing all off the bitterness off my tongue and fully becoming a positive human being and fully embracing my influence. No longer giving myself away, fully taking control over my own life and knowing that my influence will take me far. And with happiest people, that's like probably my best project ever because happiest people in the World Wide Web is what I wanted to do with Sunny Path. Happiest people in the World Wide Web is what I always wanted to do with Sunny Path, but I wasn't in the right mentality I wasn't around the right people to complete Sunny Path like I wanted to. Sunny Path I focus more about the shadows 
which is still art. A shadow is just the absence of light. It's still, it's still art, and it still needs to happen. But happiest people is what, where I really wanted to be. Happiest people in the world wide web is where I really wanted to be. Knowing that the, in, through the internet, we have influence, and they want to keep us down through the internet, through all this traumatic shit and all this bad news. But we can still be happy about how we look at these situations and what we're going to make with our influence. So that's why your influence is very powerful. You don't need to be a celebrity. You don't need to have a following. You just need to be alive, breathing, and grateful. Grateful to be here. I love you guys. You guys are powerful. You guys are powerful. And I hope you guys already knew this. If not, I hope you guys can be reminded of this. We could come back to our senses and come together and, and make the world a better place with our actions. Thank you. Thank you for watching.